this is about 5,000 acres and as of midnight it was 3,000 now it's about 5,000 so it's rapidly moving wildfire in South Carolina's most popular tourist destination here. We know of 2,500 people that have been evacuated about 200 folks are in shelters this morning to get the very latest we just talked to Todd Cartner from the Horry County Fire and Rescue. Here's what he says. Overnight, the fire jumped uh, several uh, little highways and, and roads that were in the area of a large wooded area, and uh, it crept up pretty quickly, actually, on a residential neighborhood. Uh, when it jumped, the flames were uh, getting upwards of, we've had reports of 150 feet from some of the firefighters. And what it did was it basically just jumped into a residential neighborhood very quickly. Uh, in that neighborhood, we are reporting right now that we know we've had damage or a total loss to at least 30 homes and in the North Myrtle Beach community, which is on the northeast side of the county here. Uh, and that particular area, we've evacuated a mandatory evacuation of approximately 2,500 people. And uh, we've asked those people to go ahead and leave. We've also asked several surrounding neighborhoods uh, to go ahead and prepare to leave should the winds pick up this morning and actually uh, uh, head toward their homes as well. In those pictures, you can see the flames jumping over the tops of buildings, apartment buildings and homes. Let's show you on this map exactly what we're talking about. We're really talking a little bit more about North Myrtle Beach area. So we'll kind of throw up the burning areas there on the fires. And what you're seeing here is this is all Myrtle Beach, South Myrtle Beach, and this is the intercoastal waterway. They're hoping this acts as a fire break here to stop the fires from spreading because the winds are pushing them a little bit toward the beach areas because this is where all the tourist areas are. Now in that zone, one of the things I wanted to show you is this is a six lane highway right here called the Carolina Bays Parkway. The fire has already jumped that and they're hoping it doesn't jump the intercoastal that that will form a natural fire break. All of this is burning in these areas called Carolina Bays and they're all filled with peat moss and dried grass. It usually takes big time rains to put this out and they're not expecting rain till well into next week.